All right, what's going on, you guys? Welcome to Real Madrid Hub again. I'm your host, Dr. Jota, and in this longer video, I will be talking about something that for some of you all might be a little bit funny, for others might be serious, and for others might be just a very silly thing, very stupid, you know, very stupid theory or something like that. I mean, you can you all can call it kind of you know conspiracy theory or something like that but i was thinking about that i was trying to connect the different points different names the different possibilities and of course it, i mean when they put everything together it made a lot of sense i mean it, I, I might be wrong and and this might be just uh you know a very silly thing very stupid thing a very you know remote possibility but it is something that not only can happen but also it is something that might be planned ahead by Florentino Perez because if you know what kind of person what kind of manager what kind of uh, CEO empresario or whatever you want to call it to um, Florentino Perez I mean if you review how Florentino Perez got the signing of Luis Figo 21 years ago or even Zinedine Zidane or even Hazard, Cristiano Ronaldo. I mean, there is a, a common point in all those negotiations that lead to me to think that Florentino Perez might have a plan to get Kylian Mbappe from PSG and I will explain you, I mean, I will get into the details, okay? I'm going to deep dive to this whole thing, this whole conspiracy theory or whatever you want to call it. And right after that, just comment whatever you guys think. Just drop your comments in the section below because in my opinion, it makes a lot of sense. I don't know if that is going to make sense for you all, but in my opinion, it's something that is really possible that is happening and you will see how the last moves that we have heard about for example the departure of Sergio Ramos and the news from uh, Rafa Ran, if you put them all together it leads to me to think that it might be very related to the signing of Kylian Mbappe so let me get this uh, let me get start let me get into the details explaining what is my what is my point here Okay, so if you think about it, when it comes to the signing of Mbappe, it's not a secret that is going to be very difficult. And I'll, I mean, many people out there are thinking that it's going to be almost impossible because Al Khelaifi doesn't want to get rid of Kylian Mbappe. And of course, there's no a single thing Florentino Perez can do about um, the signing of Kylian Mbappe, right? I mean, it's, it's almost impossible. But let me tell you something. When Florentino Perez, a couple months ago, showed up in El Chiringuito and replied to Josep Pedrerol, uh, I mean, to the question regarding to the future of Kylian Mbappe, he said, hey, tranquil, I mean, relax, relax, everybody. He, I mean, the way he said that, if you look at the context, you know, if you look at the way how he responded, it was like, okay, I have a secret. I have something that nobody else knows, but I will get to Kylian Mbappe. So I was thinking about that. And of course, Al Khelaifi, I mean, if you take a look at the last years in PSG, PSG is a team from France that since Al Khelaifi took over, is trying to build up a super winner project. I mean is a team who really want to succeed in Europe because of course for them the League One is very easy I mean although they lost the League One, the, the League One uh, this season it's not a big deal because at the end of the day they will win it again probably the next year the next season so for them right now the most important is to create from scratch a super project that is able to win every single trophy or the most important trophies in Europe, in the world, and all the stuff. That is the most important and the top priority for Kelaifi. And let me tell you something, over the last two years, we have seen a big change in PSG 
I mean, because they were able to get the semifinal in the Champions and then the final last year that they lost against, uh, against Bayern de Munich. So in my opinion, they are in the right way, but they lack of something that is really important when it comes to win the Champions. And I'm talking about experience. I mean, if you look at the players of PSG, this last uh, generation with Di Maria, Neymar, Mbappe, Sarabia, and uh, Thiago, I mean, former now is playing for Chelsea, but Thiago as well, and uh, other players, Mauro Icardi, I mean, they, ha they are very, such a good players, very young players, very, you know, uh, players that in my opinion, get, get along, and very well because we are seeing them all the time taking pictures of themselves and celebrating stuff. I mean, they are a very, you know, healthy group, a very, very good group. But the only problem that they have is the lack of experience. That is, and that is very important. When it comes to the Champions League, sometimes it's much more better to have players with a lot of experience, with a lot of hours of flight, you know, in the champions than super young and top talented players and things like that. So in my opinion, the only, the only thing they have to get to go ahead and win something in Europe and to become and turn out in one of the most important teams in, the, in Europe and in, in the world, is just a little bit more experienced players. You know what I'm saying? So here we go. And now is when it comes to the, the, the conspiracy theory. If you look at the news, if you look at the departure of Sergio Ramos, where PSG is apparently the best positioned team to sign Sergio Ramos, you can say, okay, Sergio Ramos, 35 years old, former Real Madrid player, uh, has won four Champions League. Okay, that is experience. That is experience. And there are a bunch of news out there who are attaching to Sergio Ramos with PSG. I mean, that, would be, that wouldn't be the first time. That wouldn't be the first time. We heard about that months ago, that PSG was interested in Sergio Ramos uh, for the next season. But here we go. Now the second one, Rafa Varane. What is going to happen to Rafa Varane? Okay, what we know so far is that Rafa Varane wants to leave Real Madrid and he wants, apparently, I mean, Real Madrid is assuming right now, according to the latest information from Cadena Ser, Real Madrid is assuming that Rafa Varane will leave and there's nothing they can do about that to retain him in the team, right? But there's another thing. Manchester United has been the most hot team as a possible destination for Rafa Ran. And actually, they have put on the table about 60 million euros and Florentino Perez has said no because he wants even much higher money. I mean, 90 million euros, something like that. So if you think about it, Florentino Perez might be putting a lot of problems to Manchester United to sign Rafa Varane because in reality, Florentino Perez wants the Rafa Varane goes out and join PSG. You know, I mean, you get my point? Are you getting it? I mean, the point here is that Florentino Perez might be plotting to get these two players of Real Madrid, Ramos and Varane, to join PSG to provide PSG with the experience that they don't have. I mean, it's pretty weird for me that an offer, like Sergio Ramos said yesterday, I mean, I wanted to renew with Real Madrid, but the offer has expired. I mean, nobody knew about that. It, that would be the first time in history when a legend of Real Madrid that, I mean, it's almost impossible to believe how is the, I mean, how can you put to a legend of Real Madrid a date of expiration for an offer of renewal? I mean, it's something that we never heard before. You know what I'm saying? It's completely, um, there's no, an unprecedented, 
I mean, it's, it's, it's something that I never heard about. Nothing similar. So in my opinion, Frontino Perez was in a certain way pushing away to Sergio Ramos for him to sign PSG. I mean, it was, I'm not saying that from the beginning he was uh, thinking about to uh, give away to Sergio Ramos PhD, but once Sergio Ramos, months ago, told to Florentino Perez that PSG was really interested in signing him, he probably said something maybe came out to his mind and say, hey, if Sergio Ramos goes to PSG, if Rafa Ran goes to PSG, then maybe Al Khalifi would be more open or would turn out his mind when it comes to sell Kylian Mbappe. But wait, for because there's more. And now, here we go with the third reason, the third point or whatever you want to call it, Cristiano Ronaldo. If you think about it, when Florentino Perez showed up in, the, in El Chiringuito, he was asked about Cristiano Ronaldo as well and a possible return. And he said, very, I mean, very, in a very pounding way, he said, no, Cristiano Ronaldo will not come back to Real Madrid. Because that way, in my opinion, he was thinking that, okay, if I get, I mean, if I close the doors to Cristiano Ronaldo, the only other team where he should play for, you know what I'm saying? Where, I mean, the, the only other team where he can play is PSG. You know what I'm saying? So that way, Al Khelaifi might be getting the three more experienced players when it comes to champions. Just to, uh, uh, in, in that position, he would be more open to sell Kylian Mbappe. And maybe even beyond that, Florentino Perez, because he's very relaxed with all the situation. I mean, everybody's so pessimistic regarding to the uh, signing of Kylian Mbappe right now, except Florentino Perez, who apparently is very, you know, relaxed and, and just slow down, just tranquil. I mean, very tranquil, very, you know, very, it's like nothing happened because everything has been done already. Sound like that. And in my opinion, he, I mean, I can't rule out, because I know the Florentino Perez, I can't rule out that he probably had a conversation with Al Ife to say, hey, if I get you Rafa Ran, Ramos and Cristiano Ronaldo, what would you give me in return? Would you give me to Kylian Mbappe? Because otherwise, in my opinion, there's no point in selling Kylian Mbappe without getting nothing in return. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Al Khelaifi is not will not be the president from PSG who sold to the best player of the world for nothing in return. If he sells to Kylian Mbappe, it's because he is getting something in return. And this something is Rafa Ran or Sergio Ramos or even both, and also Cristiano Ronaldo. I mean, call it a conspiracy theory or something like that, but in my opinion, it makes a lot of sense. And the only reason why I think that Florentino Perez is so relaxed with the signing of Kylian Mbappe is because he knows that he has exactly, or he has given exactly to Al Khelaifi what he really needs. You know what I'm saying? So don't rule out this option because in my opinion, it's very likely to happen, it's very possible. And of course, that would be great for Real Madrid because we would be getting to Kylian Mbappe for us. So now let me know your thoughts about that. Just comment in the section below and of course, subscribe to my channel, Real Madrid Hub.